What is going on guys, it is Master Rolf here, welcome back to Clash of Clans in our world of Minecraft and as you can see we only have two buildings left to build which we're gonna do today uh, and then after that we have completed our base which is insane, you guys have loved this series, I've really loved the support you've given me and the advice on what I could do, uh, obviously later on we are gonna go back through the village and I'm gonna upgrade it and make it even better and use maybe some mods as well to get the cannons to work, to get the spring trap to work etc etc. Uh, but if you want any more Minecraft or Clash of Clans related right? Minecraft, of course, please do tell me in the comment section below so I know what we can do and we can look forward to a brand new series coming very soon. So, the sun is just rising behind me, as you can see. We need to go down now and build up our final thing. So, we are going to start off by building uh, the laboratory or the spell factory. Let's start with the lab. So, we're going to build the laboratory over here. Uh, the laboratory is actually a big piece, as you can see. It takes up, uh, I think it's 4x4 four four on uh, on the Clash of Clans scale. And it's going to be quite a hard one to build. So we're going to be using iron for uh, kind of the corners. So I'm just going to fill that with iron. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of red as well to use for the doors. So the doors are going to come out uh, to about here. So let's just uh, build up those doors. And this is going to be, I don't know if there's four doors, one on every side. I don't think there is. I think there's only two front doors. So we're going to need those two like that. Uh, and then that's pretty much all of the red we're going to use, actually. And now it all comes down to getting this iron correctly made up. So it comes with these cool little corners. Let's build these corners up. Uh, how did I do that? Wait. Yeah, one more. Okay, so it comes out one more goes in and then comes out again. So we have kind of this uh, weird step. And then the back, it's going to be all iron because I don't, again, I don't think there's an extra door there. So we're going to bring that out. We're going to bring that in. Have I done that right? One, two, three. No, I haven't. I need to do one more. One more. And then, yeah, and then bring th these across. Oh, God. And that should be kind of the back end done. And that is the main structure of the building complete. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty much like the laboratory, how it looks at the moment. And then it's going to need a roof. So we are going to kind of have to make a whole new roof over it. We're going to keep the red out because the red is actually showing at the top. And we're just going to build a very simple... A simple little roof around it. Now, what I was going to do, which would be quite cool in this one, is uh, I was going to fill the insides with torches. The only reason for this is, on Clash of Clans, if you uh, can see it, it actually glows so much uh, from the inside. So I'm thinking a load of torches uh, that you can't quite see from the outside, so it's not at the door, would look quite cool. And then I'm going to um, do kind of this floor as well, so... There we go. So that's going to be like that. So when you look at it from that, hopefully that is going to be glowing out red, which is going to be really, really awesome. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully it'll look good. I definitely hope it looks good. It should look good. All right. So we need to do another in a bit. And this is where the, oops, this is where the roof gets a little bit tricky because it has a few different pieces to it on the roof. It definitely finishes on this big red thing. So we're going to uh, have to build up a red center. Actually, it goes up like one more step and then we need to build the red center piece. So what I thought for this was to build kind of a bucket, which is going to, it's going to have to look like that. And then on the top, just put a nice redstone lamp. There we go. That is the laboratory. It looks pretty cool from that. And then on this side as well, we have uh, a weird kind of looking thing, which we're going to be using stone for to build this odd square out thing that we have. I think this is where like the power for the lab is kept or something. I'm not 100% sure. And for the middle bit of that, we are going to be using this stuff as well. So it's going to be all lamps like so. And we're going to be using two layers of it. Maybe we've done this, actually, we've done this a little bit thick. This should only really be uh, a 2x2, two two, not quite that extreme. There we go. And then we're going to finish the top off again with some stone. So there we go. That is the lab complete. Pretty damn easy, actually, to do. And I'm quite happy with the results for that one. I, I wasn't sure how that was going to look. But that looks quite cool. We always could do, um, we could do all this redstone and put lava in the center and have it kind of like a lava middle bit. But I think that's going to look quite nice. And also the lamps... I think they light up, if I'm not mistaken. We've got a little bit of lag as well here. Don't know why. Excuse the lag. So I'm going to put some of these lamps in here as well. I think they light up, but I can't remember. So that is that done, and we are now, guys, going over to our final piece of the puzzle. If we can get there without getting all this lag, it must be because of all of this. 
All right, here we go. This is the Spell Factory. Now, for the Spell Factory, uh, we have a few different pieces that we can use, but it is mainly gold because... Oh, if you can hear fireworks, guys, it is fireworks night, so you might hear some fireworks in the background, like, right now, so, yeah. Um, so, we are going to have to build a golden dish, which is going to be pretty exciting. And let's do this. So, we're going to bring it across, like so. And I've left kind of corners like this, kind of like I did for the last one. The only reason I'm doing that is because they have, like, a blue, weird-looking spell on them. So, for that blue spell, I was going to use some of this, and literally... That is going to look so, so good. That's going to look exactly like there's a spell right there, which is going to be cool. And on these corner ones, instead of having a spell, they have some kind of gray, uh, grayer top. So I'm going to be using the stones for the gray top and the spells for the sides. Just like that. So that's going to be like that. Uh, and now we need to go up and build the dish. The dish is going to be quite hard to build. I'm not quite sure how high we should do it. Uh, but we should definitely make this whole bottom bit all gold. I wasn't sure if I should have done this all bronze. Uh, but I think gold gold looks cooler, right? Gold's pretty cool. And it is for spells. And spells are badass. So gold and spells, they just go together like cheese and biscuits. Uh, so let's build kind of the inner section now. Because we're going to be trying to make a, a strange dish. And then that is actually going to be like a pretty good dish straight out of the back. So I'm quite happy with it already. Like so. All right. That's going to look like that. Um, these gray bits actually, no, these are wrong. These are wrong. The gray bits actually protrude out a very tiny bit and give it kind of a, a, different, oops, a different stance. So we need to redo that. I'm double pressing for some reason. And the gray bits actually come and stick out. And we have... Like that? Is it? Is it like, is it like that? I don't quite know. It's kind of hard to um, hard to see what it looks like. I think the gray bits the gray bits come out like so. Or do they come out here like that? I think that looks better. All right, we'll do it like that. That looks a little bit better. So they kind of come out like that, like that, and like that. So there we go. That is, I don't know why there's lag. I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea why there's just a bit of lag. And then we do have some kind of gold coming out here as well. So maybe I should put some gold down. And can I put that across? There we go. Now that's going to be, that's what the spell looks like. No, not that last piece. There we go. And that is going to be the dish in the center, which is looking pretty badass. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I think, let me just move around this. Uh, I've got it open on the side here. I think we have completed our Minecraft base. That is insane. Let's get our sword out. And let's go and have a look around this thing. All right, here we go. So the Barbarian King is going to fly up. Oh, my God, the lag is real. And we're going to look at this from above just to make sure everything is in. Yes, it looks very much like it. I might have missed one thing somewhere, uh, but I hope I haven't. And what I'm going to do now is get into the position that you guys can see from that photo right there. How realistic, how good do you think I have done on this? That looks just like it. Um, I'm missing a few of the decorational pieces, but I'm not going to do them. I was just doing the main buildings. And I am super, super happy with it. So let's go through, have a look at all the buildings, and see what... Uh, I want you guys to comment down below. How could we use some mods? How could we use some different things uh, to make this even better? Now, the first thing people have been saying is to spawn some giant mobs and make them uh, like the Barbarian King, put some leather on them or whatever, and have them wander around the base, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm not sure how to do that, so we're going to have to definitely look into that. You can see, oh, look, the Iron Golem's dropped some of his iron. There we go. This is the inside of the town hall. We've actually done the inside of this one. We will be doing the inside of the other ones as well very soon. We've got the Clan Castle, which is bus bustling with life because we've got a, uh, a CD in here. How do I do that? How, can, I, can I get some new songs? Song. No. CD. No. Disc. There we go. We got some discs. Let's put on this music disc instead. Um, oh, no. Where's my where's my thing got? There it is. All right. Yeah. Let's go. So we can now roll around. We've got the bombs here, which you can turn on and off, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And then we've got the air bombs as well. What's up, Iron Golem? He is protecting our expo. The wizard tower has got a, a kind of stick wizard on top, which is pretty cool uh, and pretty funny. The inferno towers are looking gorgeous. I really like how they look. 
um, and we could definitely do some kind of uh, thing with them so they actually shoot and this is one that we can definitely change soon is to put some uh, something really powerful down there so when you do hit it uh, you just fling off straight away but I'm pretty happy with just how those uh, pistons are working the mortars are looking nice shiny and big uh, and that's kind of everything for the inside and then we'll go outside and we've got the new the gold storages which look really cool i was really happy with how they came out they're big they're gold and they've got different colored gold it's actually sponges uh, and then we got the air defense probably the hardest thing to make actually or hardest thing to design close to it was the air defense So I was happy with how the air defense went the elixir storages are looking really nice as well That white stained glass looks absolutely superb on them uh, Not to mention the walls as well actually while we're here the walls took absolutely forever I spent so long on the walls uh, and I'm really happy especially how these walls turned out They look really nice in their kind of purple form. This is the <laughs> This this is the Tesla um the Tesla is definitely one of the least amazing looking ones, but it's really hard to do, and it does look kind of, kind of like it, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, sitting next to the Tesla, we have the Archer Tower, and these were the archers that I put up there, but you've fallen down. Why have you fallen down, sir? Yeah, well, you better walk away. Uh, but the, the Archer Towers look quite cool, especially with the hanging down banner here. You can see, look at it flapping in the wind. Man, it's a hurricane out there, uh, which looks pretty cool. I was happy with those. This is the Black... Cannon. Uh, cannon, again, was very hard to do. You can see here, he actually, if he shot, he would just shoot his wall down, so probably not the wisest thing. Uh, but the cannons look quite big, quite beastly, and they were pretty hard to design, but I was happy with how they came out. Uh, then we got the Builder's Hut, the classic Builder Hut, with the sword and the axe on top. We've then got the Elixir, uh, elixir Pump, the Dark Elixir Pump, which looked really cool, uh, especially when we're using that spinny round thing that I can't even remember the name of. That's going to really annoy me. What is that called? Is it the Hopper or something? I think it's the hopper. Yeah, it's the hopper. There we go. The hopper to act as a drill. The barracks, which you guys decided need to have a diamond head with nether stairs for the horns. And um, the gold storages. Sorry, the gold mines as well. And that's kind of it. That's all the stuff here. And that is my base. So I'm super happy with it, right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like down below. Let's see if we can get this up to 3,000 likes for the final episode of this base build. Thank you so much for supporting this uh, and so much for liking the series. It's been absolutely awesome to do. Again, leave comments down below of any other Minecraft-related series you want to see on this channel. We can hopefully fuse Clash of Clans with it as well uh, to another degree. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.